We're back today with another Golf Forever warm-up routine, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently today. Today we're gonna hit some shots before air warm-up routine. That was a little heavy. And then after we're gonna hit some shots and show you just how much a good warm-up matters. I turned it over all right. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. We're on the driving range today and we're gonna have a little bit of fun warming up today. Uh, we have, of course, got some club comparisons and club testing planned for today, but we gotta get warmed up first and we have Golf Forever here to help us do that. Um, but we're gonna show you first a little bit of how impactful a good warm-up can be. And so, plan today, we're just gonna hit some seven irons, hit some drivers, you know, kind of cold turkey here without any swings, any warm-up. And then we're gonna go through a Golf Forever warm-up routine, about just a five minute warm-up. Um, then we're gonna hit some more shots and we're gonna see how the numbers change, how the performance changes. Um, I would imagine there'll be some drastic differences. Yeah, it's really important to get the, the blood flowing in your body, get nice and loose. Now, I've been up for a few hours. I've actually did some club fittings this morning over at the Minnetonka store. Drove across the city here and now I'm basically cold and haven't really <laughs> hit a shot all day. So it's good to get the body moving, not only to get the blood flowing, but also to avoid any kind of injury as well. Yeah, which it might be a little bit painful to take these first couple of swings here, but um, we're gonna we're gonna do that at the risk of injury here. So Thomas, are you ready? All right, no practice swings, let's get after it. All right, seven iron. Really hard to not do a uh, warm-up swing right off the bat, but let's go straight up, no practice swings. Ugh. It's actually a pretty good swing. 80 miles an hour on the dot. Yeah, the swing definitely feels off. Yeah. It, it, it feels like it's kind of, it's, it's wonky almost. That was a little heavy. <laughs> All right, heavy, short, and right. Those are the three shots that I feel like I hit with that, and it's kind of what TrackMan's showing. That thing, I only carried 158 going 166 with about 82 mile an hour club speed. So, yeah, not, not, the, not the perfect warm up at all. Uh, let's hit a couple of drives and see what happens with the driver. 103. Well, it's been consistent. It's been right every single time. Interesting. Maybe not enough speed to quite oh, turn the club over. I'm just not used to, hey, I got a 1.5 smash factor though. Efficient. Just, I'm just not used to uh, not doing a practice swing and, and actually getting body ready for the golf swing. Seems like those six shots were short, low, and right is what it felt like to me. Yeah, I wonder if that'll be the same trend for me. So club speed around about 103 miles an hour with the driver. Let's see some numbers with your swings here as you haven't warmed up yet either, Drew. Mm -hmm. So far, we're seven swings in, and every shot's been to the right. Yep. <laughs> well, that was certainly right. I'm waiting for you to hit a shank. <laughs> it, that was very close to a shank. Well, those are two ugly swings there. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, so let's, let's see. Uh, let's see some three drives to finish with. What was your club speed there? Eighty-six point nine average. Eighty-six point nine average and short right <laughs> again. Those last two were really close to each other, actually. It just doesn't. It feels not. Feels very awkward. That was closer. That was a little better. I need a golf ball. Wow. <laughs> you made my right balls look pretty good there, Drew. I did, I did. Your dispersion looks way better now after I've hit. Looking at the dispersion pattern, yeah, it's, you're a little further to the right. But we kind of noticed a consistent trend. Yeah, we have. Everyone is over there to the, to the right side. Mm -hmm. We can see here. If we were going to expand the dispersion pattern, we can see yeah. the blue was my seven iron cold, red was my driver cold. The uh, 
purple was your seven iron cold and the, <laughs> the green was your, your driver cold. The, so, uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same, you know, yeah. with uh, those circles. Your circles are a lot smaller than mine, so. Let's touch on club speed just a little bit and see. I know my normal club speed when I'm completely warmed up is about 88 to 90 miles an hour with a seven iron. We can see here that I was at 80.3 on average. 80.3 average club speed. Yours was 86.9. I know you'd like to go after it, you know, fairly, fairly hard. <laughs> um, driver club speed, I was at 103.9. So I know that, you've, you're a little faster than that. Yeah. I know that. Uh, and you were 107.4. You, you're usually okay. a few yard, miles an hour faster than I am. So it's, it's kind of a similar trend. Uh, the one thing I found really interesting is my driver smash factor number. 1.51. Interesting. Yeah that'll, yeah, that'll catch the attention. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's interesting. I had 104 mile an hour club speed of 157 mile an hour ball speed. So I was actually hitting it really well. Yeah. 2,065 2, RPMs of spin. So maybe it's not always about swing as hard <laughs> as you possibly can. But that's really kind of interesting to see there. Launch angle was lower, height was lower, everything was just lower overall because mm -hmm. we weren't generating as much speed as we were normally yeah. used to. Yeah. So really kind of interesting, those numbers there too. And then I brought this up before. Every shot was to the right. Every shot curved to the right. We just were not getting through the ball. Yeah, right. Yeah. Which so, I think after we do warm up here, will probably be, I would expect to be the biggest difference is going to be after getting warmed up, getting loose, maybe that club will get through a little bit easier and quicker. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what should we do for a warm up today? I think last time we did the full warm-up which they have is eight minutes we're gonna do a quick warm-up which is five minutes here so I'll go into that workout with Bill Fabricini as we remember from last time and we'll see what he's got for us here hi I'm Bill Fabricini I'm here to take you through a quick five minute pre-round warm-up this exercise session is designed to be done if you're a little bit in a rush we've all been there where you got to get on the course quickly meet your buddies got a tea time set and you only have five minutes Let's just begin with the priorities I said. Loosening up the back, freedom of motion. The spine has to move freely. See how we're just arching the back, then we round it. Then freeing up your hips, a little flexibility in your hips. If you can get your leg up on something like this, great. The hamstring, if you can get your leg up on the cart or anything else, a stair or something, great. If you don't have anything you have access to, just put it on the ground. Maintain that nice neutral posture, hold. We need a little flexibility in the front of our thighs here, okay? And we also need flexibility behind our shoulders. So if we just pull the arm across the body like this while we hold this position, we can get nice flexibility behind the shoulder while we get flexibility in the front of the hip. Even five to 10 second stretches can be effective to improving flexibility in your body and making your joints glide more freely, make your body move better as a unit. Okay. And then let's start to groove the patterns we need for golf. Here's that hip turn. See how I'm steering the hips? And here comes a little bit greater amplitude of motion into your backswing and follow through four or five reps. And the body is connected. It's ready to go. You have blood and circulation. All it takes is five minutes. Remember, change comes with commitment. Do these little things on a consistent basis. It will really change your game. All right, we're all warmed up. And now we're going to hit some shots and see how the numbers change. Yeah, right at the flag. It's a tiny bit fat, but I can see my club speed is way up there again. All right. That's a lot more club speed there. Yeah. I turned it over all right. That one is pounded. Miss hitting driver? I do, I do. That's like a foot right of the pin, or the target. Yeah, those three were a lot straighter. Able to get that club head around a little bit easier? Yep, right down the line. Mine were two, I just chunked them. And 88.2 club speed. Almost the same as what I am when I'm warmed up. Oh yeah, 
That's out there. That's good. They're all right next to each other too, I feel like. Yeah, you helped me out with my dispersion pattern a little bit there. Once again? Yeah. Okay, Drew, did you feel like you were more warmed up after doing the Golf Forever warm up? Yes, I did. I felt like I could uh, kind of really go after the ball a little bit more uh, with these last six swings here. Uh, I know my club speed went up uh, quite a bit and uh, I didn't, I wasn't fearful of getting hurt or injured or anything like that. And I just felt like, you know, especially like, you know, the, the core muscles and, you know, your hips were a lot, lot looser and able to turn a little bit more. Yeah. And this isn't like a, a scientific, it's not going to be yeah. so much that we're going to say you're going to magically pick up 10 right. miles down club speed. Well, and it's, it's not a secret a that warming up, in, you know, will increase your club speed. I mean, that's not, a, that's not a secret, but we're just showing you the Golf Forever warm up. And then here's just a quick sample of how yep. our numbers changed. Yeah, so talking about your numbers, so when you were cold, 86.9 mile an hour club speed, 7 iron warmed up, 95.8. That is almost nine miles an hour extra speed, which is going to cause the ball to go a little bit further. Oh, yeah. So instead of hitting it, well, a 149 carry going 155, you're a 174 going 179. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were flying much straighter too. Yeah. That was the other piece that we noticed is once we warmed up, the ball was not going to the right for both of us. Oh, yeah. It was straightened out for both of us. We were not having that right ball. And I think it was just because you know, our speed are catching up that club a little bit square at impact um, just because we're swinging a little bit faster to what our body's used to. Yeah. Well, let's talk about driver because driver was interesting. You actually, your average carry distance was almost 300 yards once you were warmed up, which is, which is pretty impressive. When you were cold, 107.4 club speed. When you were warm, 118.7. Yeah. So and I, I, I will admit, I mean, I was going after those a little bit, but um, I mean, that's the hot, that is how I would swing the driver that's on the golf course. So kind which of is, how you play. Which is, can be good and bad, but yep. uh, <laughs> that is how I swing the driver, so. <laughs> yeah, so you picked up some distance there. Now talking about myself here, I went from 80.3 to 88.2 mile an hour club speed. You've seen a lot of our videos when I'm hitting a seven iron, I'm around about 88 yep, miles an hour exactly to 90 right. miles an hour with, with, a, with a seven iron. So mm -hmm. I was pretty close to warmed up, pretty close to my carry distance and, and total distance and what I would expect out of a seven iron. When I was cold, it was a lot shorter. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit to the right. Um, I picked up eight miles an hour of club speed. And then driver, same thing. I picked up eight miles an hour club speed for going from 103.9 to 111.4. Uh, so yeah, it was really kind of interesting. I basically picked up 30 yards carry distance and 20 yards more distance overall by being yeah. warmed up and having that extra 10 miles an hour club speed. Yeah, so this, it's nice because I, this was, I was just a five minute warm up we did. It wasn't going to the range and beating balls for a half hour or maybe even an hour. Um, that was five minutes. You can do that in the parking lot. You can do that, you know, right by the clubhouse, whatever the case may be. And then you're ready to go and you're going to get the club speed numbers and the performance that you're used to seeing with just a quick five minute warm up and nothing more, which is really nice. And I think that's really cool to have that from Golf Forever. Yeah, and I talked about dispersion going from right to more straighter, but also the consistency. Mm -hmm. The consistency was way better. When you first hit your first three shots with the seven iron and the driver, there was some fairly large dispersion <laughs> yes. circles there. A little bit short right, and then you'll notice it got a lot tighter, essentially, yeah. with your dispersion pattern. Mine was, believe it or not, even tighter yet, um, but also just a little bit straighter. I actually yeah. drew the ball a little bit with the driver, which I was very happy about. Yeah, for sure. I know you like to play that little draw when you can. So, But, uh, I mean, this is really good stuff. This is, again, not something super scientific. It's not a groundbreaking um, idea that we're showing to people that you can warm up and you're going to have better performance. But it's just nice, again, the five-minute warm-up from Golf Forever, be able to use that quick, and then all of a sudden you're ready to go and play on the golf course. Really nice to have. And now we can do our club comparisons, club testing today, and we'll be all warmed up and ready to go. Yeah, Golf Forever's got some great uh, stuff on their app. Uh, you can also use the app on, on your phone, on your iPad. You can also use the, their website as well. Uh, make sure to subscribe and to their subscription that they have, their workout subscription, and no doubt your game will get better, not only warming up, but also stronger, more flexible too. Absolutely, and of course, for a limited time, uh, use the promo code SWING25 for $25 off that membership to Golf Forever. So a um, lot of great stuff there, a lot of great benefits to have, uh, and it can be yours. So Thomas, thank you for joining today, and now we're ready to go and uh, do some more club testing. Yep, let's do some testing. <laughs>